I see legs up in there too, Wade. There's a spike on that edge. A doe came out. We've seen legs walk through there. Oh, right there behind. Oh. That's the one I missed the other day. This is why you sit all day in lockdown because you never know what is going to show up. Yeah, that's it. Tell me when. Kill him. Dear Season 21, rolling along. I hope everyone's been able to catch all of the episodes. Let us know what you think about them and this one. Tell us if we're doing a good job or tell us if there's something you'd like to see. I would vote that the opening day of rifle season for every state should be a holiday within that state. That's certainly how I feel about Missouri and I couldn't wait for this year. Deer season 21, gun season in Missouri, deer camp. We've got the Winchesters ready to go. We've got a full camp. In fact, we're going out with four different crews and we're gonna see if we can get it done there in Northern Missouri. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? What are you doing, Christian? I know you're not here. Yeah. Still, I mean, you were. Why the room? Hey, Chris. Hi, buddy. Uh, Cheers, bro. Go. Cheers. Okay. Hey. All right, Dustin Wiseman has been coming up with us over the last few years, and he is a consultant for Helena Chemical, and he has really helped us out on the farm, getting the right chemicals, the right fertilizer, planting the right seeds, and I invited him up for a deer hunt. Of course, myself and Wade, Taylor, Perry, Coondog, we're all there in Northern Missouri, and we are having a blast. As we head out the first morning, everybody had decent movement, but we didn't quite get it done. But nonetheless, here's some great encounters from opening morning. He's about to go to that corner post up there uh, across the creek. Oh, so he's on the other side of the creek? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm looking on this side. Okay. He's he walking. walking slow, ain't he? Mm -hmm. First deer of deer camp right there. A nice three-year-old eight point and uh, he just walked real slowly along that edge out cruising looking. So hopefully that's the first uh, or the start to a really interesting morning here in Missouri. shot today, that's for sure, across the state. Nothing prettier than a white-tailed buck walking through the hardwoods. Nothing prettier. Then that afternoon, we really felt good. DeerCast had a good prediction and uh, the weather was right. Dustin's heading into one of our spots. We've had great luck in the past. It's one of those top ridges with heavy cover on both sides. We've got a big bottom field below it, but right here on this top, we've got winter bulbs and sugar beets. They meet up with uh, non-typical clover from Biologic, and we're hoping that some of these bucks will be cruising and can give Dustin a shot. And myself and Wade are in one of my favorite honey holes. It's just this tight, 
thick, nasty cover, and right in the middle of it, a huge biologic clover field. And right next to that new green that we put in this year, we have two or three different giants on our hit list. Wade's got the 6.8 Western in hand. Hopefully, they can make it happen. That's a nine point. I think that's one of our boys. He looks like a three-year-old, is he not? It's hard to tell. He's a nine, he looks good. We just had a look like a three-year-old nine point come through the saddle here out in front of us, browsed on the last bite, just for a few seconds, got a bite. It almost became his last bite, but we looked at him a little closer and pretty sure he was three and a half year old, so we let him go. This is why you sit all day in lockdown because you never know what is gonna show up. Well, we're getting into the three o'clock hour and they're starting to move pretty good. We got four does over here, two does over here. The does are moving, we just need a big mature buck to come sweeping through this field and see if uh, see if he'll give us a shot and if he's mature, so. Have you shot a deer with the 6.8 yet? I have not, I'm excited to. <laughs> Those bullets are huge, they should be pretty devastating. We shot some does with it last year and just incredible performance. So I'm excited to shoot one of these big old mature bucks with it. Hopefully uh, tonight's the night. Yes, that's him. Wait for that one to clear behind him. Okay. Yep, ready? Yep. He can go down. This guy right here is what Winchester's Deer Camp 2021 is all about. We come in with the 270 uh, shooting the Winchester XP 130 grain and it did the job. We He come in chasing the doe at about 125 yards and we had to wait just a little bit to get a shot because he had a doe behind him and we needed her to be clear. But once she was clear, the Winchester did the rest of the work and he didn't run 30 yards and he was in the edge of this woods here. Just couldn't be more excited. Mark Jury, I appreciate the invite. Oh, bingo, Christian and, and uh, Dustin. He just said bingo, bingo. that tall rack buck. That... Oh, boom, baby. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. I'm so oh, happy. That's... Look at that. Oh. Oh yeah, bingo. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so happy for Dustin. He deserves that deer. Congratulations, yeah. Dustin. Awesome we are stuff. happy for you, buddy. Yeah. Awesome. Boom. All right, Dustin's buck is down. Now, we're getting in towards evening and we had had pictures of this deer in this field off and on throughout the season. And I, I told Wade, I said, try the new Rack Jack. It's part of the Drury Outdoors series and it's, it's within the HS call line. He puts it out that back window and starts just hammering it.
And I'll never forget this sight. We're sitting there looking around and watching the field. It's an easy field to watch. And then suddenly, right from where he rattled, out from underneath the blind, I see this giant rack coming out underneath us. And I knew exactly who it was. He said good night. Wow, that was so much fun. How quick did that happen? <sighs> you said, you never know, right here at last light, a giant could walk out, and that's exactly what happened. That deer is awesome. He's big. Yeah. <laughs> My heart's racing. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> that was so much fun. He is down in the field. Great shot, Wayne. Good job. Thanks. That was awesome. Dude. <laughs> that was fun. That was freaking <laughs> awesome, dude. Deer camp in Missouri. Wow. Look at that. Man. <laughs> that is a brute of a Missouri buck. Well, what an unbelievable night that Mark and I had, had down here in this bottom. You know, we came in early. Uh, the movement started early. It started about well, 2 o'clock and ran all the way to about 3.30, 3.45. And then our movement has slowed, but <laughs> this guy, just an absolute giant, mature buck here in North Missouri, stepped out right at last light in the 6'8 Western, just did a number on him. He didn't go 60, 70 yards off this field edge, and I could not be happier. My final tag punched here in the Midwest. Can't thank Mark enough. Just an awesome, awesome evening here in Missouri. You know, we had already received word that Dustin killed, but getting back to camp, I mean, this is what deer season and deer camp is all about. Smiles for miles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Woo! That is awesome. Man. There was no question when he came out. Yeah. There's no, there's what he was. There was no question about it. <laughs> I oh, knew you guys. Giant. Yeah. Oh man. Giant body deer. Yeah. Big eight. Well, actually, oh. nine, ten, like eleven points. Yeah, ten or eleven. Woo! 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 Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. That's two. Oh, yeah. Missouri opening day double right there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, the big double. Yes, sir. Like two seventy one, two seventy two. Right on. He tipped the scales live weight at 271 pounds, just a mammoth six and a half year old deer there in North Missouri. Congratulations, Wade. Nice shooting, my man. Here we are in deer camp, baby. Day number two. Let's see what we can get done. Dustin laid down a good one last night. Wade laid down a big old dog. So here we are going to the same spot Dustin hunted. There's like three or four still shooters in there. The wind direction, the northwest, is perfect for this blind, so that's why we're heading there again. You let the wind pretty much dictate where you're going, so this is where we're going. Time to get the old Winchester out, get up in the blind, settle in. It's about 10 till 6, hopefully. Yesterday it was so cloudy it didn't get daylight till like 20 after. I think today we might be about 6.05, 6.10, so we need to get in the blind and get ready. Deer season 21 is rolling. Two bucks hit the ground yesterday, Wade and Dustin. So it's Marissa, Mark, and myself out this morning. So we're gonna settle in. It is prime time rifle season here in Missouri. Rolling on, Wade and I are still together. We've decided to go into a new plot, a new blind, a new field on an old farm. Day number two of the Missouri rifle season and uh, Wade and I are gonna go try a spot for the first time ever. It is November the 14th. It's peak estrus day in terms of deer cast all over the Midwest. So if I had to pick a day that 
I did not want to be out there, it's today because so many different bucks have a girlfriend. So your odds are lessened. However, you can still find a giant between does and that's what we're hoping to do this morning. Whee! We've had great luck on this particular farm through the years and we've got one hit lister on our mind. We've got a few pictures of him on the Reconyx camera, not a lot, but we know that he's a giant. There's some other big deer in the area, but there's one particular buck we're hoping to see because this is the side of the farm we get his pictures on. We are settled in and we're excited because this is the very first sit in this particular spot ever actually. We've got a big thick creek bottom off here to our south. To the north we've got a thick pine thicket, rare for the Midwest, and then north of that there's a, a bean field. So everything to the west is, is cover our food, everything to the east is open pasture, you get to the southeast there's some good hardwood so we're in a good spot here. Our wind is just floating literally right behind us back over the creek a little bit so we'll see what we see here this morning the sign here is good there's a big giant 180 class deer that's been here a few times whether he shows up this morning or not we don't know but it'll be exciting to see where the movement's at and how much we see it's always exciting to hunt a new spot you never know what you're going to see where you're going to see it and you're anxious for those movements whether it be a doe a buck whatever you want to see where they come from where they go there's something always exciting about the first time in Something in the behind her, coming in behind her. A small buck, I think, I see. Man, the movement started early, and uh, our feelings were excited about the movement, but we're also anticipating, you know, could this big boy be here? We're in that part of the season where a lot of deer are with their girlfriends. They're locked down, but we're hoping, just hoping, we might see a big boy cruising. This is exciting to see movement here. Like I said, first time in. Nice little buck coming to check these three does that came in. Oh, he's a pretty young deer. It's a beautiful two-year-old. Awesome. Really good start so far. They're moving well, too, on this northwest wind. Deer cast is great, and boy, it's been really, really great so far. Beautiful. It didn't take long and we start to see legs in this thicket and uh, the rest of the morning, well, you just got to check it out. It's unbelievable the way it transpired. Did you see the buck with the rack? Uh -uh. He walked right to left and I walked back in there thicker. I don't know how big he is, but I definitely saw decent antlers on him. He's got to have a doe right there. We saw a doe as well, and we keep seeing legs. Do you see legs right there by him? Oh, yeah. Right there. What in the hell is that? I just couldn't tell anything about the wreck. Oh, but doe just ran out too. I just keep seeing legs walking through there. 
Do you see those legs? Mm -hmm. See the legs behind those seizures. There's a spike on that edge. A doe came out. We've seen legs walk through there. Oh, right there behind. Oh, you see that? Yep, 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 yep. I just keep seeing legs walking through there. Do you see those legs? Mm hmm I've got that 6.8 Western, and uh, there's no doubt about it. The moment I knew who it was, I was going to get a shot. Get that in? Yep. yep. Bat! Nice shot, Mark. That 6.8 you just put down a giant. That's our target right there. We were sitting here, we had great movement early, and then we had legs in the thicket here, coming off that bean field, no doubt, and that's him. Whoa, did that happen fast. We have so many pictures of him through the years, and we just killed a giant here in Missouri Lake. Like, boom, baby, that was fast. That was fast. That's why I love this gun, I swear. There's no recoil, and then the terminal performance is just unbelievable. Whew. That happened quickly, buddy. Very fast, yeah. But that's him. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's him. Boom, down like that. There you go again with the 6.8 Western. It's an incredible round. Uh, very little recoil, but the terminal performance right there proves it. Look at Wade's, how quickly it went down. Look at that one. It's just awesome. It, to me, is the ultimate whitetail round. I mean, that 6.8 just dropped him. Now that spike's over there, the same spike that was with the doe. Now he's back over there, right next to the buck. And moving on. <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> He's like, yeah, mess with me again, buddy. <laughs> Man, what a morning we've had. I mean, I just talked about it earlier. Sometimes you gotta sit and wait and wait and wait. We had an early movement, then a long period of nothing, and then boom, just like that, changes your season. And I mean, that is an absolute Missouri giant right there. Fun, fun sit here. Wade killed one last night, Dustin killed. We are having a blast here at Deer Camp, I can promise you that. All right, our old buddy Coon Dog's been in camp and he's had some great encounters. And in fact, the same morning that I killed, well, there's a shooter out in front of him. Coon Dog, make it happen. He did. Doe brought him right up. We were just talking about that. Whew. Holy moly. Ooh, yeah. He's a big mature deer right there now. Oh, awesome. Got worked out. Awesome. That boy. He shot and then we went and looked at the footage and broke it down and broke it down and we kept seeing what I thought was steam coming out the backside of that deer's body. So we were a little bit confused. And then the more we looked at it, we were like, you see the vapor trail of that bullet going just below that deer, and he actually hits some of those winter bulbs and sugar beets, and they vaporize. If you look at the timing of when the bullet passes, and then the deer's reaction, you can tell it's the plants beyond him. Well, the dog's up to his old tactics. We did go down, just check for blood real quick, backed out, and uh, we're just gonna go back and uh, put it on the big screen and see what we can see. Hopefully it's a hit. 
I mean, I felt pretty confident, but we'll see. We'll see. The good old dog. <laughs> Firearm any day, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to notch it. Notch. Permit notched. He is down, so we went ahead and notched. We're legal to go deal with the deer and uh, enjoy the morning. We're having fun, mister? Oh, we're having fun here at deer camp. Gotta love it. What a beautiful day. We're right here along the banks of this creek the one eight point walk right down it and i mentioned earlier this morning it's the first time we've ever sat here and i mean it was uh it was eventful and it won't be the last because we had one heck of a sit here this morning this was fun let's go have some fun i can see that rack from here that's pretty cool <laughs> he's big mark and that six eight i'm just so impressed with that round i shot it last year on some does. That's the first buck that I've harvested with it. Wade's was the first one we've harvested in general. And I mean, it uh, puts a wallop on them. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's him. How about it, Wade? Congratulations. That's definitely him. <laughs> he is a giant. That's awesome. Woo! Wow. Wow. How about it, buddy? Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, here we sit behind a very mature Missouri deer. We've had pictures of him the last two or three years. We've never laid eyes on him. Just a beautiful five by five buck that uh, really put on a show this morning. He was the target we were after on this side of the farm. And uh, it just went down so awesome for a lockdown hunt. We're here in, in the phase that can be quite tough. However, when you get weather like we had this morning, with that northwest wind, high pressure, deer cast said great. We were sitting there like two kids because it's the first time in. First time we sat here, we've got that beautiful creek. Movement started early, then it got a little bit slow, and then all of a sudden we saw legs in the thicket, and then just a few glimpses of this rack. Man alive, did he put on a show this morning when he finally came out. I got that 6.8 on him, he was quartering away. That's one of the reasons I love that rifle. I felt confident in that shot, very little recoil, and put him down in his tracks. Just a giant Missouri deer that I'm so excited to be sitting behind here as we continue to roll on during deer camp. Winchester 6.8 Western was absolutely the ticket we needed this morning, and we have success here in Missouri. Awesome morning. Unfortunately, Coon Dog had swung and missed, but uh, good old dog, he's not gonna give up. Coon Dog and Perry are headed down into 97 bottom. Giant bottom field. Could that buck show up again? Here we are in a week before Thanksgiving and it's already back up in the 50s. 60s tomorrow. Crazy Missouri weather. You gotta love the Midwest. What a beautiful biologic field. Dang. We're about to make the 6.8 hot. Can you kill him from there? 
this there and then Smoke too. Oh. Holy moly! What a rodeo! What a rodeo! <laughs> At a boy, dog, and the best part about this—that reaction. Blender, baby, blender. Redemption. Bam! Please, please. Give me a hug. Oh, yes. Oh. I'm getting too old for this sometimes. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Gotta love the dog. He's been a part of the team for over a quarter century, and I just never get tired of seeing those reactions. The man loves it like nothing else. Congratulations, Coon Dog. Way to make it happen. And once again, 6.8 Western, unbelievable impact. Good job, buddy. I just found a new love, the 6.8 Western. You talking about knockdown power? Oh my gosh. It put the smack down on him. Oh, I can't wait to go see him. Oh, what a gun. Look at this. Look at that. Bobby Cole, you should be proud. I see you, Ray. Oh, oh. Oh my. Look at this. Whew. Need to get my composure a little bit. The old dog's heart is beating a hundred miles a minute right now. You don't know how bad you feel when you're in camp and Mark, Perry, and Wade put so much into these farms, and you miss a deer, it tears you apart, man. And for me to get this redemption, it's worth its weight in gold, man. I love all you guys, man, I really do. We love you too, dog. Mm. Pow, baby, pow! Redemption with a big R. Yesterday morning, I missed this bad boy, and I felt so, so bad. I mean, it, it just tears you apart when you miss a giant buck like this. This is a, one of Mark's hit list deer, and uh, by gosh, if he I ain't sitting behind it today. And I tell you what, with that 6.8 Western shell, oh my gosh. He took the impact, he took it like a man, but he dropped like a sack of potatoes. I could not be more happier for this redemption buck right here. Thanks, Mark, appreciate it, brother. Oh. oh yeah, did he get his eight point, the one he missed? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, oh, yeah. Redemption, baby! Redemption. You got him! You got him! <laughs> you got him, baby! Yeah, baby! Congratulations! Oh, you. oh yeah! Good job, Woo. Good job dog! Look at Woo, I got him! Yeah, baby. Good job, dog. Yeah. Beautiful deer, buddy. I know. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. That is great, dog. Congratulations. I'm very happy That's for you. Oh, yeah. I am very happy I'm tickled for you. to death. That's some solid redemption. Yeah. That is. <laughs> good stuff, good dog. What's up, everyone? I'm Tim Chelswick here at the DoD Gear Lab, and today we're chilling out with the all-new Sportsman's Collection line from Stanley. This year, they've taken it to a new level and teamed up with our lifelong partners at Mossy Oak to create the Sportsman's Collection. You've got Mossy Oak Bottomland, Mossy Oak Country DNA, and a Blaze Orange option, too. The lineup consists of the iconic 1.5-quart Legendary Classic bottle. It's rated at 40 hours for hot beverages, 35 for cold, and a whopping six days ice. Now for on-the-go sipping convenience, nothing beats a 16 ounce trigger action travel mug with a rating of seven hours hot, 10 hours cold, and 30 hours ice. Now, if you need to do a little relaxing back at camp after a long day, the Stanley Easy Fill Wide Mouth Flask has you covered. The Easy Fill Wide Mouth Flask retails around 28 bucks. This season, fly that outdoor lifestyle flag with the Stanley Sportsman's Collection and enjoy the beverage of your choice at the temperature of your choice in true sportsman style. All right. 
right, four tags are filled. We have one left and that's Miss Taylor. I decided to switch things up a little bit and I'm gonna put the doe decoy out. She needs just a little bit more attraction and I go with the buck bomb, doe and estrus. We are locked and loaded in the blind in this muddy at a place we call West 80 West Fend. It's actually where I killed my bow deer last year. But this time, rifle season, I have the Winchester 350 Legend and uh, dad put a decoy out at this lane. We'll see when it gets light outside, but at about 50 to 60 yards. So we came here this morning because we have recent photos of two different mature nine points, uh, just beautiful Missouri deer. So we have some MRI. We are in desperately seeking. So the decoy is out and hopefully we can uh, catch up with one of our matures that is desperately seeking because they've been on does really hard the past few days. Deer cast is great. Deer is good. Oh, sorry. Deer cast is good. We got 30.33 pressure. That's high. Yeah, it's really high. 36 degrees. Really, there's frost on the blind. Our windows are <laughs> are a little bit frozen, but and it's uh, the first south that we've had in a few days now. So Dad's always talking highly about those first selves. Should be should be good, hopefully. <laughs> falling moon, south wind, first south after several norths. It did not take long, and we look out the blind, and I mean, there is a giant standing right at this decoy. Who is that? Oh, that's that big nine. Is it? I got the gun. What time is it? I barely have enough camera light. I look at my phone, I'm like, we have to wait three or four minutes to even get to legal shooting. And I knew who it was. This is a buck we'd been chasing the entire fall. I had great reconnaissance pictures of this deer. He's, in my opinion, five and a half years old, big framey nine point, the kind of deer you love to see in Missouri. Now, will he stick around until we have legal shooting? He starts circling that decoy. And in my mind, I'm like, I am so thankful that I put that doe and estrus on there at the last second. And to me, that's what held him. He held and he held and he held. And finally, we have legal shooting. And it was time to make that 350 legend do the work. Okay, you got him. He's facing you. Stop here in a second, give him a second. Okay. Wait for a better angle. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're going to wait yeah. just a little bit longer and then we'll go in there and find him. But great shot right behind the shoulder, quartering too slightly. So should have been probably both lungs, maybe liver, but certainly dead deer. Oh, yeah. The buck bomb. <laughs> Dad put the decoy out at 50 yards. I mean, completely sprayed her down every angle. And uh, I would say that it is certified. <laughs> it says it on the bottle, but that was my first like doe decoy experience. And it's just insane to have bucks coming out literally right out of their beds before, before light. So pretty crazy. There's still frost on the ground. <laughs> the best feeling. And it's early. Look at that gorgeous sunrise. There's nothing I'd rather do than film Taylor kill a deer. 
fun, fun times. Let's go get that giant. Wade was hunting does not too far away and he said, man, I'm happy to come and help. So he came and assisted us on the track job and uh, the blood trail led us right to this giant nine point. Congratulations, Taylor. Beautiful. Gosh, what did he go? You think 100, Probably. 150? Just a stud nine. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped right now. Notched on the app or legal. Well, it is an early and beautiful morning here in Missouri. It's Missouri rifle season. And uh, dad and I just had a very quick hunt this morning. And we came into West 80 West Fence after these two mature deer that have been on their conics, both nine points. And uh, this guy stepped out this morning, I mean early, before legal shooting, and dad had put up a decoy. He absolutely drenched her in the buck bomb estrus. He came right to her before legal shooting. So we're looking at the phone to make sure it gets to that time that we needed it to. And the Winchester 350 Legend met its mark on just this beautiful, mature nine point here in Missouri. I mean, what a hunt we had during Desperately Seeking that we will never forget. A very quick one, but a great one. <laughs> so there you have it, deer season 21, five bucks down at our Missouri camp. I don't think we've ever done that before. Deer camp was amazing. The Winchesters did exactly what we wanted. It was just a wonderful time there in North Missouri. We had an absolute blast. I hope everybody's enjoying this series and I hope everybody's having a great deer season 21. Storm, good luck. Hurry's up the fat, we'll see what happens. Calm him down, calm him down. Oh, he gets excited. He gets excited. And don't call him Perry Button. <laughs> so we do a lot of doe management, both in Missouri and Iowa, and you're gonna make a mistake once in a while. Last fall was Perry's first shooting does, and uh, he mistakenly shot three button bucks. But... <laughs> and his new name is Perry Button. <laughs> <laughs> the Perry Button thing needs to make a cut. <laughs> we love you, Perry. New thumbnail, the button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how Perry got his name. Oh my gosh. Pressure is on the rise. Perfect conditions for hot shooting. has been all over the south side of the plot. Hot corner, 3 p.m. It's the easiest decision you'll make this season. Get ahead of your game with DeerCast. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Sportsman's Channel, your home for everything red, wild, and blue.